I'm Patrick York from Tech Thing, and I'm here on Digital Trends today to help you save your precious files. It doesn't matter if we're talking about business data, baby pictures, your college thesis, or all the music you bought from iTunes over the years. If your hard drive dies, it all goes poof. No worries, you say. You backed it up on a USB thumb drive or one of those external drives, that's a great start. But what if that thumb drive is in the bag with your laptop and it gets stolen? Or if there's a house fire that takes out your desktop and that really cool external drive you had the copy stashed on. Sound paranoid? Just ask anybody that's been, uh, oh, I don't know, say through a hurricane, tornado, flood, earthquake, or you're kind of getting the idea by now, I bet. Disasters, natural or otherwise, are the reasons IT pros follow the 3-2-1 backup rule. Three copies on at least two different media, like the drive in your machine and the USB drive, with at least one copy stored off-site, as in not where you are. Now, if you're already backing up files to an external drive, Awesome, you're actually doing more than most people are. The next step is to get a copy stash somewhere else, as in not where you are. Now, you might be capable of keeping a couple of backups in rotation, one say at grandma's house or in a safe deposit box, but it is a lot easier to just use an online storage service. Dropbox or Box is a good place to start. They'll automatically sync a folder full of your files in the cloud, which is a fluffy way of saying in a data center full of servers that somebody else is responsible for, someplace you aren't. My personal fave though is downloading and installing backups software like CrashPlan or Carbonite. I like CrashPlan because you can use it for free to back up to a local drive, to another computer that you trust, say at your parents' house, or for a modest fee, CrashPlan central cloud storage. It takes a while for the online services to back up all your data. Your interconnection can only move so many megabytes per minute and you have gigabytes, but they run automatically in the background and they keep going until you're backed up and unlike me, they never forget to automatically back up your files. And hey, look, online file services, they make it easier to share files or access them anywhere you can get yourself onto the internet. So, if you have files you can't afford to lose, do yourself a favor and get your own 3 to one backup program rolling sooner rather than later. Thanks for watching, I'm Patrick Norton for Digital Trends and I hope you never lose any files.